think she wants to try to kill me, honestly. I've removed all weapons and everything from the house for my protection. Stop! Wait, stop? Oh, wait, stop. What the stop. Hell? Get away from me, bitch. I'll fucking put your face Don't up. touch the car. Mindy, stop. Stay there back there. Me? Stop. Why are you yelling stop. at me? Stop. Go back there like I just said. Why are you yelling at me? Go stop. back there now. I'll stop back. I ain't going in. What's the problem today? That motherfucker wouldn't take me to the damn store before he went to work. I've been asking this bitch forever to take me to the store. That's it. Then he told me I couldn't get to the store. Told him I didn't fucking need him to tell him, but the store can tell my Sorry. She's flipping out again today. Um, so I'm trying to leave. She wants me to take her to Walgreens to get a glucose monitor. I said you have to have a prescription for that. Turn this way so she can't hear me. I'm sorry. She climbed up on top of the car again, beat the car. So this is that's the hood. She just did all this just now. The hood, um, kicked the side of it, up on the roof, dents all over the back of it, the trunk, she's beating it with her phone. I've got video of her on top of it. She wouldn't let me leave. I want to go to work. She's hanging on top of it, said, you know, take me to Walgreens. Refuses to get off unless I take her to Walgreens. Threw her cereal on the car. Did she make any comments about self harm or anything like that? No, she said she wanted to kill me. Did you guys get into any kind of physical altercation today? Um, as long as he don't step to me, it's cool. Do what? I hit the car. As long as he doesn't step to me, it's fine. When he comes at me, then he comes at me. I don't want that phone in my face recording me. He's been showing my kids different recordings. And I know that because then when I see them, they're doing the shit I've been doing. Making the faces I was making. I'm not a complete dumbass. Sorry, I want to curse the news. I'm not a complete <laughs> dumb person, okay? I got mental issues, but it's because my brain, I just can't put. And then the phone works, and then it don't, doesn't work. And then I can't get that one to call me back. Uh, what'd she say? I'm going to have your head on a platter. So what I'm doing right now, if I can leave, I'm going to file a protective order. Yeah. And you have one for the kids. Right? I've got one for the kids. I'm adding myself. Here it is. Were you in fear for your safety at that time? Uh, well, when she was on the car and pulling, you know. Okay, so you weren't in fear for your safety reference. Right, not at that point because that. I was in the garage and she was standing out here. Okay. So, I mean, I have a retreat. Um, um, so, but it's in at night. I'm afraid of for my life. Yeah. Um, I spend the whole time in the basement. So that's at this point. That's why I'm going to add myself to the protective order. Okay. So, did it get physical today? I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah, it kind of did because then he comes at me, and I'm going to his face up if he comes at me. It kind of did. Can you explain? Because I hit the car, and then he came at me, and then I tried to get the phone out of my face because I can't have someone badgering me, trying to record me all the damn time. He's already done that shit. This is all he does is watch that shit. Wife can't have a relationship when you just watch the damn Do you know stuff. why? Do you know why he was recording you or anything? Yeah, because I'm acting up. <laughs> I know why he's recording me. Did you rip I got out on top of the car. I want to go to the store, sir. That's it. Did you rip out a camera or something? Is yes, he keeps putting his stuff up there. He keeps wanting places to record me, and I'm tired of that. I'm going to take it down every time. I don't need no damn camera in my... I don't need nothing. I'm going to take the locks off the door. I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of him, and I don't like him. He's coming what at me. What is taking the locks off the door going to do? Weird him out. Maybe he won't come back to this home. I invite everybody in my home. That way I can stay here. So you were in the car and she was beating the car, you said? No, I wanted to get in the car. Oh, she was on the car, beating the car. Where were you at in relation to that? Um, just behind just behind the car, and then I also went inside. So I went inside to try to de-escalate it, hoping that what she was she hit in the car with? Her cell phone. Okay. So she's beating the car with her cell phone. Okay. Did she make any other threats towards you or anything like that? No, she's very smart about stopping okay. where to where to okay. draw that line. Was there anything physical today? No. Nothing physical? She just hit, the, hit your phone. She didn't try to hit you, right? She didn't try to hit me other than when she, well, you saw that first video, when she came at me. Is that, she just hit your phone in that, though, right? Well, she hit my hand and the phone, knocked it out. Okay. When I got home from the hospital, he put his hands in here on me to get me. Then he walked away and said, I'm calling the cops to get a protection order on you. I said, mother you just put your hands in here on me, bitch. You okay. damn dumbass. So, can you uh, describe what happened today? Yeah. You said he, he, he had the phone in your face recording you. Why was he doing that? 
because I'm acting up, because I want to go to the store. My community doesn't want to hear me gripe anymore. Okay. They just need a man if he's going to come back and forth in the home. So where were you guys at when out he was here. recording? Out here. Where at out here? I don't know. I try to bring it all out here so everybody can see. My okay. questions, anything I ask him, I try to open my door. To like, I, I want to open my door so people can hear how many times I have to ask him and how much I have to beg and how long I have to wait. Okay, so when he was recording you, what exactly were you doing? I don't know, yelling at him, get that phone out of my face. And then what did you do? Smacked it out. Did you? I don't want to come at him. I don't want to hurt did him. Did you but hit him? No. If he comes at me, I'm going to smack you out of the way. Did he hit you? Not that I remember, no. 14, 9 hour 24 checkup. It, we've separated real quick, so it was cool. Like, he can't do anything. If I want to hit this motherfucking car in my driveway, and he won't give me a damn key to... Did he make any threats to you? Not that I remember or know of. Except Did you for, make any threats to him? No. Except I'll hit for, you if you don't get out of my way or get away from me. Yeah. He's been living in a basement for six months. You see it, right? What does it have to do with this? He comes in and out. He's living in the basement. This is not good. I want a protection order to keep him out of my home, sir. Hang tight for a second, ma'am. What were her words again? That she's going to have my head on a platter or something along those lines. What did, what did you interpret that as? Uh, well, I think she wants to try to kill me, honestly. Okay. Like I said, I've removed all weapons and everything from the house for my protection. Did that because it's. it's like did you perceive that as a threat to your physical harm? It, it sounded like a threat to me. So, yeah. Are and you then, concerned that maybe not at that time that she was going to do it in a second, but do you think by her making that threat that it's something that she could potentially act I think it's on. something that she could do in the future. As many times as she said it, if given the opportunity, given the opportunity, I think she would. I'm gonna go to Texas and check on my daughter. He wouldn't let me. He wouldn't even take me for a ride. He doesn't even take me for a ride. I can't even get out of the house. It's it's opposite anything. I want a lawyer. I want to sue him for mental, physical, and emotional abuse. I want to file. Just a calm court. down, please. I got an ex that came in and got my kids, and then everything just went whatever haywire, which is fine. But he wouldn't let me have any communication. He tells me my kids don't want nothing to do with me. He's ran his mouth to my kids while I'm a surviving woman after surgery. He didn't help bring me up. He didn't even hardly bring me food in the room when I was on my deathbed. This man right here is disgusting. I don't even want him in my house. So yes, go ahead sir. And turn around, put your hands in the car for me, okay? No, why? Put the I hands want you to car. tell me why. You're under arrest for domestic violence. Turn around. For what? No. Turn around. Ah! Turn around. Put your hands around your back. Put your hands around your back. Ow! Oh, you're hurting me. Don't hurt me. Please don't fucking hurt me, bitch. Please, Stop. I don't want to bite you, asshole, motherfucker. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I Stop. knew you were going to take me. Don't fucking hurt me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me, sir. Ow! Ah! 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 No, I'm not. Why? Well, you're getting more charges. I know. Once a while. God bless you, sir. I love you. Stand up. I'm hurting. Spit the grass out. Why? I don't want to. I don't want to spit the grass out. Do you have anything on you? No. Well, I don't want to put the grass out. Spit the grass out. No, I don't want to put the grass out. I mean, I hate my hand. Spit the grass out. Why? Because it's disgusting. You hurt my elbow. We don't need it in the car. I don't want to be there. Spit the grass no. out. Spit the grass out. Take it out. Spit the grass out, man. I take it out. Spit the grass out. I take it out. I won't bite you. Thanks. You want to get more Sounds charges? Like a good promise. No, I don't. Oh, Spit wait. the grass out. Let's go. I hate my husband. Please help me. Spit the grass out. Come on. Let's go. Spit it out. No. I hate my husband. Help me. Spit the grass out. Help me. Does that taste good? Help me. Help me. Why did you eat grass? Because my husband's fucking with me. Are you going to spit it out or do you want to leave it in your mouth? I want to leave it. Okay. Thank you. No, I want you to take it out. That's it. <sighs>
I don't have anything anyway. After her arrest, her sister arrives at the scene and immediately begins making startling accusations. I'm sorry, you guys. He doesn't want on us on his property, and Mindy, they took Mindy to jail for domestic violence. Of course, he, that, he, she played right into his hands because she's an addict. She's, he's got her on opioids and had her on opioids, and we didn't even know about it for like, he didn't even tell us until like a year and a half ago. He hit her addiction so he can control her because she wants a divorce from him, and he was not going to let her go. And I'll tell you something else, too. I know he's got an insurance policy on her, too. He's waiting for her to, her to die. She probably weighs 85 pounds, and I just had her at Claremont County. Greater Cincinnati uh, Behavioral Center, Behavior Center the one, just the other day, one. and I think she weighed 85 pounds with her clothes on. He's waiting for her to die. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I can tell you he sought a lot of help, and we've tried to help as much as we can. We've you know brought what? resources to her. We've offered to take her to resources, we've... and she has not been cooperative. No, she hasn't. I've been here myself. This is probably the fourth time. So our office has probably been here 20 times. Oh, more so, than that. Probably just in February you've been here 20 times. Yeah. yeah. 47, I believe, is my uh, my email I got from your department. So, I mean, she's got to be willing to a certain extent to help herself unless there's a court order that there forces, order. Her, that there forces order. her to help That's herself. why I took her down to Behavior Health to get her evaluation that he was supposed to do five weeks ago. But see, he's dragging his tail doing anything. Right now, he's currently under uh, educational neglect because my seven-year-old granddaughter is supposed to be in school. Both of those kids are with me right now. They've been with me for almost a month now because I told, them, I told him, I said, you either do something or I'm going to take them away from you. And that's the only reason I have them. He went to court. But when they went to court, he never had summoned any of us to be there because he don't want none of us telling the court what he's doing. And I'll tell you something else, too. He don't want us on his property because he's got a little black box in the woods that he keeps on a leash and he pulls it out at night all the freaking time because he's drugging her with something. Okay, both his nurses, both of his parents are nurses, psychiatric nurses. He's not a stupid man. He's been in the Air Force. He knows what he's doing. He's manipulating the system so that he can destroy her. That's what he's doing. And you better wrap your head around it. Because what well, I'm I could, telling you, I could tell you is if the he's, honest God truth. I can tell you if he's trying to manipulate the system, he's taking a long way around because, oh, because he, he, he could have... Because he's, well, a let me presenter. Finish. he's a presenter. Well, he's let me presenting finish. He could, have, he could have easily got a protection order and her out of the house a long time ago. Oh, yeah, he could. That's and he did not do that. And right. he expressed to us multiple times that he didn't want to have to put her in jail, that he wants her to get help. He's. He, I can tell you that he's tried with us and with her and with you know mental health mental crisis to come out you know Where are we we've tried a lot of things to try to get her help and she absolutely refuses to go to the hospital every time unless we have something to force her we can't make her go we've offered greater yeah, sense of behavioral know. health i mean she's talked to mobile crisis know, multiple yeah, times okay. there's only so that. much we can do how long are you keeping her what do you mean for right now so she'll have a bond here tomorrow morning should be tomorrow morning uh, i doubt she'll have one today can I go there? Um, to the bond hearing? Yeah, it's Should open to the public. To. So, um, is there any court order that says that you have to have the kids? Well, uh, let me see if I have a copy of it. Right here, somewhere here. Somewhere Currently here. staying with maternal grandparents. Yes, that's us. Okay. Well, that, um, that's not part of the order that that's they have not, to stay yeah, with you. And at this point, he wants the kids back. Nothing can be changed on that until a judge. Until a this judge, is a judge is ruling. But that, that's not what the order is. That's notes and evidence towards the case. Right. Well, but and it, and it, so establish, right. it establishes him as the legal right. custodian. Right. I understand that. But we had an agreement. I was taking care of the kids and he was taking care of her. But when I found but now out she's he in was, jail and But he, when I found, listen to me, when okay. I found out that she was abusing her. All bets were off the table, right then and there, and that happened about three days ago. What are you talking about? I'm the talking video about that I have of him putting his hands on her. Yeah. Okay. Do you have that? Yes. So <sighs> I'm just telling you, right there, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, and I apologize for interrupting you, but this is just way too much, way too much. That's the one. I don't want these children to be with someone that's violent. He's violent. Well, we don't have any evidence of him being violent or of him having mental health issues or him having drug issues. But I don't know if you've seen their house. No, There's a lot of evidence of her oh, yeah, having he doesn't have drug issues. He just has porn issues and all that stuff. That's his drug of choice. Every night. 
but I'm glad you big men showed up here today. I appreciate that. I mean, like I said, we've begged and pleaded her to try to get help. You know, no. she's hides her addiction, and he hid it too. He hid it from our whole entire family until we couldn't hide it anymore. Well. One thing I'll say about right this here, is, and she told me about it, and she said he's going to hurt me if I tell you. But I'm going to tell you, Mom, I've been on opioids. He didn't. He never wanted me to find out. That's a man that really wants to protect his wife and make her get well. I begged him to put her in the treatment program. Begged, begged, begged. He wouldn't do it. Well, she has to be voluntarily. You know, uh -uh. In he it. can do it through the court system. He did this through the court system. Right. That's... He could have done that through the court system. So... I already called them. He could have taken guardianship and put her in yeah. a dream, and he didn't want to. He's letting her deteriorate. Can't you look at her and see that? Oh, I, I mean, like I said, we're, we're limited on what we can do to, to force her to get help. She's been offered, I don't know how many times, tons of times. I know. And if she's an adult and she's not willing to get help, then... As soon as he, he, as as soon as he did that, he took her phone so she couldn't call 911. That's what he does. You don't understand. He so, manipulates the whole entire what situation. Did you tell him that Sam told you that he, he has um, syringes? Because he says that her, her grandpa's, his dad's syringes delivered to his home. So because they, the company won't deliver them to Indiana where his dad lives. That's a bunch of crap. There's, there's, but if there's syringes being delivered here, and he's hiding something in the woods. I don't know what if he's. I have no idea what's going on here, because there's no, there would be no reason I for syringes her, I to want her be blood taken. Yeah, I would like to have her to so, see. So what do you think he would be journeying her with? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Because all of a sudden she started ending up with sores all down her face, and she doesn't go anywhere. He goes to work or goes to the store or anywhere. She is held here. She can't. She doesn't have transportation to go anywhere. So you think he's injecting her without her knowing? Yes, yes absolutely. How would he do that? Because he's putting her to sleep at night. What makes you rule out the factor that she's voluntarily using doing it herself? herself? Yeah. No way. There's no way. I'm going to tell you what she does because I've I've seen her do it. She takes a half of her oxycodone, not the whole entire thing, and she takes a half of an ibuprofen with that for her pain because she had two operations on her spine, and uh, that's all. I, I have and to go because we have calls pending. I know. But I can tell you this: you have to give him the kids back. When? Immediately, so he wants the kids. I so he's judge gonna, to tell I'm not her even that. speaking to him. It's, 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 it's not. It doesn't take a judge. Okay. These are the orders that we act upon, and it says that he is the legal parent and guardian of the children. So if you don't give the kids over, then it's interference with custody. Right. I just okay, want you to be aware of that. Then what happens? Then you go to jail. I don't go to jail. I yeah. got to go to court. Yeah, you go to jail. For interference with custody, you'll Don't be arrested. Take his side. Having an insurance policy on your spouse, especially if you have kids, is really pretty normal. And also, not wanting to tell your in laws about your spouse's addiction, that also seems pretty normal. The problem with some of these accusations is they're rather circumstantial, and being wrong about the court order probably doesn't help the case. All in all, it looks like there's a lot going on in this story, and that's one reason why we wanted to bring it to you. She was charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. She is innocent until proven guilty.